My name is Jane Nickel. I'm with the Park Forest Public Library Local History Collection and the Park Forest Historical Society. Today I'll be talking with some women who moved into the rental units or the homes in the first couple of years of Park Forest. We'll begin by going around the table and have them tell you their names and they'll tell you when they came to Park Forest, where they lived, and how many children they raised while they were here. I'm Edith Warrens. I moved to Park Forest, I can't remember the exact date, but in the middle of November of 1948. And uh, it was Court E8, it was 2880 Western. And uh, Terry was one of my neighbors. Okay, and you had? Two children. Okay. Had one in the, when I was living there. Okay. Had another one when we moved to our house. Okay, and um, you had a boy and a girl or two? A boy when I lived there and a girl in the house. house. Okay. Yeah. I'm Terry Rule and we moved in the 2868 Western Avenue around Halloween in 1948. We moved in one week and our son Roger was born the next week. We moved in with a four-year-old. Any other questions? <laughs> Not right now. Okay. And, and I'm Shirley Deach. Uh, we moved to Park Forest in, uh, on Lincoln's birthday in 1949. We had one son who was uh, almost three. And um, we lived at 3074, I believe, was Western Avenue in Court F6. Okay, and although you came that late in the year, into, Feb into 1949, mm -hmm, February. when, when move-ins had begun in August of 48, right. at the end of August, um, you had come down for the tent meeting. Yes, yes, in, we were at the tent in meeting. In November of 48, right. and right. your husband was already be coming involved in... Uh, and no, not, no, not, uh, not before we moved in, but it oh, was okay. after we, because there was, there was really no, no involvement of uh, the, the uh, citizenry in what was going on. It was ACB, American Community Builders. In fact, the children uh, learned their ACBs before. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so at any rate, though, you had been down and, and considered yourself oh, part yes. of the town. Oh, you yes. were just waiting oh, yes. for that unit. We were to waiting for, for them to build it. Right. Because, uh, you know, you w they did it court by court. And, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and? I'm Wilma Brenny. And uh, we moved into 128 Dogwood. I think it's Court C5, but I'm not real sure of that. Um, we had uh, a 20-month-old uh, boy and an uh, 8-month-old boy that we moved from a room and a half in Chicago <laughs> to, <laughs> to this mansion in Park Forest. It was a two-bedroom unit, but uh, to me it was heaven. Mm -hmm. And um, what else am I supposed to tell you? My husband had come back from World War II Pacific Theater, and so in late 45, we were pretty crowded in our housing, and we were glad to come to Park Forest. Mm -hmm. Weren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was no housing available, really. Right. And uh, because we were, uh, when, when my husband went into service, we, um, I, moved, I moved back home with, with my, with, uh, to my parents. And when he came back, we couldn't find anything. We saw this one dinky apartment, and they wanted two thousand dollars for some carpeting that yeah, would have to be thrown out because was. there was rent control. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so they couldn't charge a higher rent. They so they took the, uh, the right, rent money right, by right, charging right, you for yes, furniture right, uh -huh. for, uh -huh. and well, very righty, right. awful furniture. Mm -hmm. I had four more children after that uh, when we moved to our home on Oswego Street. Okay, mm -hmm. and then. Um, did you tell me the date that you moved in? Early June, first of June, I think it was, 1949. Okay, all right. And um, since Terry and Edith were the earliest, I wanted to ask them, what did they find here? <laughs> My mother found a brand new basement while I was in the hospital. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she had all the... I guess it evidently started leaking or something oh, and no. coming in the wall. And the, so she had, I remember Mr. Sweet and I don't think Mr. Klutzning, but somebody, they were down in the basement. And uh, I was in the hospital and she was screaming at them as they're bringing up 
pieces of cement up the cellar stairs and out so they'd get a new floor in before I came home. Oh, how about that? that? <laughs> I can hear her with her brilliant red hair fussing and fussing and fuming and it was... Well, uh, they got to get used to it. <laughs> well, they, they, I think they, they got it in and uh, uh, it was... Uh, Did it help? Yeah, it, uh, we, then we put, we had to put something on the basement because it still didn't do the proper job. You had to put a ceiling. Yeah, so you we had, had to, to seal it. We had to seal Eddie had to seal it. And, uh, well, the first thing we did was clean that beautiful floor. He did. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bruce floor cleaner mm -hmm. and the Bruce wax. And the night I went to the hospital, I made him finish the dining room before I went into St. James. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was fun. Okay, but and the, the, wet, the wet basements were a common problem and oh, still yes. are. And still yeah. are. Oh, so yes. I think wells. we had we did have the first one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We always had the window well problem, but we never had anything. Oh else. yes. I guess there was some that had water coming around the furnace too, but I'd never have that. Yeah, the window wells leak. The window yeah. well. I, there's oh. an, I can't that. I don't think that's been solved. <laughs> Maybe yes. No, we had, we had put a drain pipe in and it came down to the drain when mm -hmm. I lived on Ash Street in the 80s. So you did. Oh, no. <laughs> that uh, tells we you. did that in 48. <laughs> yeah. And as I say, um, poor, poor Carol Sweet, when he was um, narrating a, an oral history with me, and he said, I'll tell you how we fixed those wet basements. And I said, oh, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't want to tell you, but, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but they're, they're still, still wet. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. And so what, well, what did the town look like when you came? Mud. Still, still, still we, in. We oh. all wore boots. Oh, red, water, red water. Red <laughs> water. Oh, that was <laughs> off. That oh, was, was it rusty water? Well, oh, oh, sure. oh, that's there right. That's with, right. A, with a small... Uh, well, in Chicago, I had a portable uh, washing machine, a little that mm -hmm. would go on the kitchen cabinet. And I can remember trying to wash diapers. They came out just the most gorgeous shade of red oh. I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You had to use a uh, water softener in order to get rid of that and, or Tide. But they brought in... Uh, they, brought they brought water bottles. Water bottles. Oh, water water water. Water. Yeah, yeah, drinking. Drinking mm -hmm. water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how long did they do that? If, if you were... Yeah, not we here till June. Oh, they were still really doing it in June. It was about oh. a year, but at least I didn't realize it was that long. I'm yeah. not. I'm not That's sure just how long, but it was. It, it was, was quite, quite a while. It was right? quite a while. Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, yeah. And so the water was brown for that long. <laughs> I, I, you know, you, well, you never knew. You know, you you'd have to Maybe check it to, to make sure because oh, it wasn't always it wasn't brown. It wasn't visible brown. Oh, it just, was if you if you checked it, but it wasn't always brown. It depends. Just sometimes it was brown. Yeah, I, yeah. Like sure. if you put in a white load. Oh. Then it was brown. <laughs> and I was doing a lot of washing in those days. Yes, mm. I think everybody was washing. Plus, I got the chicken pox. <gasps> Oh. In February, mm -hmm. this was in February. You remember? She's oh, getting it now. <laughs> Don't get the shingles. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. oh no, that's horrible. I know. I got the chicken pox from my neighbor's kiddo, and oh. Roger was only—he was less than six months old. Oh my! So he was—he he didn't get the chicken pox. He was uh, Still safe so far, but it was. Uh, and my husband went on the road for three weeks. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but I got a nice lady from across the other way to come over and help me with Roger. Mm -hmm. I never, I've forgotten her name, but she was a lovely uh, Jewish lady who was so wonderful to come over. Somebody's mother was staying there with them, and she took the time to come over and, and oh, to right. help me out, because otherwise I don't know what I would have done. Remember... Uh, uh, the first, uh, the chaplain at Park Forest. Weinberger. Weinberger. His mother did a lot of helping yes, with children. Yes. They were wonderful people. They, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know whether she was living with them for a while, but mm -hmm. I know she was there when uh, my neighbor next door had one. And <laughs> needed some help. Now, what, what visually, though, did it look like? It looked like heaven. It looked like heaven with mud. With mud. <laughs> Inside it yeah. looked like heaven. Yeah. Outside it did That's not look like heaven. Well, what did it look like? In a way. Mud. Duck, duck birds and mud. And mud. And mud. And and mud. mud. And mud. And my mud. first no grass. When we, right? The day we moved in, the only sh shopping was in Chicago Heights. And so uh, we went to Chicago Heights to, the, uh, to a shoe store where I got a pair of boots. 
because otherwise you couldn't really go out of the house. You know, you couldn't get into the car because you know you'd have to step off the duck boards to get into the car. And and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one time, our, one of my neighbors carried my son into the house with his shoes off. He had stepped into the mud and his boots had stuck <laughs> and she pulled him out and brought him in and I had to go out and get the dig the boots out of the out of the mud it was um, interesting mm -hmm. <laughs> because in those days the mm -hmm. the shoes fit into the boots mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so if you lost right. your boots you lost your, your shoes, shoes too. Sure. Yeah. and the um, teacher who came down and spoke to us um, Eleanor Loeb Marar said that the teachers had to deal with that oh, yeah, sure. going out on the duck sure. boards part of getting the kids into school was getting them out of their <laughs> boots <laughs> and then to go back and get the boots later in the day and put them on the back porch to dry out so that they could get them back like, get their yeah. shoes back eventually but a lot of kids in stocking feet at school <gasps> because of that my, oh my. okay so there was no pavement in your driveways no, no. no sidewalks there was no. some sort of pavement where the cars were parked. No. I think it was stone. So. Stone. Stone. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. All but right. no, we but had no real delivery. pain. We had milk delivery. Yes. The milk oh, yeah. yeah. was the first we thing. Yeah. Dixie, Dixie <laughs> came in with the, with the milk. We, uh, it was wonderful to get food. Because we had to shop in, in, in Park Forest. Mm -hmm. My husband traveled. Mm -hmm. But everyone, all the neighbors were so wonderful, I think. Yes. Everybody counted on everybody else. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I wanted to ask you. How did oh, yes. the mothers help each other out? Because I've heard that a lot of the husbands were um, either traveling with their jobs, they were, or they were FBI or Fifth Army yeah. or something yeah. that yeah. required them to be away. Argonne. And Argonne. Yeah. They, and uh, the Argonne men, of course, were gone way up to Argonne all day yeah. long. Mm -hmm. So how did you help each other out? Borrow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have? I, I learned to drive a car, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my husband had drove in uh, with a carpool, so that um, some days of the week I had a car, and we had to do all our shopping in the Heights. Mm -hmm. And I remember one day uh, I came to the corner of Western and um, 26th Street, and there was a lady there, and she wanted a ride. It turned out to be Ethel Klutznik. Yeah, and these days you don't pick up people like that. But in those days it was very cool. Oh, sure. Everybody helped mm -hmm. everybody else. That and, was. Mm -hmm. and Ethel Klutznik was um, the wife of Philip Klutznik, yeah, who was right. one of the developers. Yeah, right. and it would be kind of surprising that she would be. Oh, but no, she no. was a mom just like everyone oh, else. Yes, and she, and she, she was, was a lovely lady. Yeah. She mm -hmm. really yeah. was. She was a very good person. And, and, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's what I understand. Mm -hmm. The Dinnersteins talked about mm -hmm. Mrs. Dinnerstein and, and Mrs. Klutznik driving over to retrieve kids at school on a terrible, <laughs> stormy day. So. <laughs> okay. Um, and you said that you thought the place was heaven. You, oh, yeah. There were no reservations about what this place looked like. It was, oh, it was just so... It was clean and new and, new and, and spacious. Welcome. They wanted us. And spacious, you know. It, it and everybody was in the same boat, you know. Uh -huh. Really. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> literally. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And this just, it, this just bound you together. I mean, at least oh. if you were stuck in a place that... I mean, you finally had housing, so you oh, were better yeah. off than a whole lot of people you knew. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But... And if you had to live with this mud and oh. and these adversities, you it was nothing compared to not having homes and not having oh, husbands yes. home with you uh -huh. for all oh, those years. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it really was. Okay. It was uh, it was paradise. Of course, our friends thought we were crazy for moving out here, <laughs> <but> moving <laughs> yeah, this yeah. far, you know, because mm -hmm. most of them were lived on the north side. Or we had some in Hyde Park, but this was this was the end of the world. Yeah, and on yeah. the south side they didn't like us. Uh, they, we thought it, were thought of as uh, different. <laughs> well, we were. <laughs> we were a community. Mm -hmm. I think it was in the paper the that first night that the bus was filled. Oh. <coughs> you know, the bus would come down Western Avenue and pick up all the fellows. And the first night that the bus was full and cheered, I could hear them out at the, at the <laughs> corner mm -hmm. because. As people moved in, there were more fellows that took the bus. Mm -hmm. And the bus went where? To, to the 200? To the train station? Yeah, to the train. To the IC station. I think to 11th Street. They did go to I, the IC, but whether that was a, what it had to transfer, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And then the only, um, the only way to drive, for these men to drive into the city, other than to go over to the IC station and take the train, was to drive all the way up yeah. western. Yes. 
and yeah. Wall Street. Yeah. And yeah. that any no, of this, no, no, any yeah. north-south Wall yeah. Street. Mm -hmm. But there was no, no 57. No, no 57. No dandelion. No. Uh -huh. no, no. Okay. no. Um, so it was quite a long drive. Too. Oh, yes, yeah, a very long drive. Yeah. I remember when we came out here to look at it, come down around 60 Stony Island, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. down past the salon of the paint factory, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the smell, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then finally down to about 30, I guess, mm -hmm. and then over mm -hmm. to Western and down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like a there wasn't, Nightmare. there wasn't much in between, right? You'd hit Homewood and some of those once you got close, but... You could either go Western Avenue or you could come down six mm -hmm. seconds and down that way. West, uh, Western, Western Avenue, we used West, to say. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Now, um, so what did you... What beyond thinking they were heavenly and spacious, what was really special about the rental units or what was a pain about the rental units? was cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, we faced, our, our unit faced the west. And there was nothing to block the wind? No. You were in the second... We were in the middle. You were in the but third our, court. Third yeah, court yeah. settled with the third E8. court up. Okay. Yeah. And <coughs> the windows, bedroom, and, <coughs> excuse me, and living room faced the west. Mm -hmm. And of course, there was nothing but wind all went along, and it was mighty cold. We put up plastic, but mm. it was... Uh, I, I wondered why they called it Park Forest, because you couldn't find any forest. <laughs> 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 well, they had a long way to get to the they? At the meeting, with the, there was mm -hmm. one time where they were they discussing voted on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they voted on, they had different... Uh, oh, yes. There was yeah, they thought about calling it Indian Wood, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. called it West Lynn. There were, I have the list of oh, names at the library. Yeah, there were quite a few names. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to there. that first meeting because I was pretty busy, <laughs> because I think it happened right after I'd come home from the hospital. Yeah, it would have been just about a yeah. month. If you yeah. were probably in the hospital a week to ten sure. days, and yeah. then that meeting was November 27th. Yeah. I know I Rose and Ed Waterman were my next-door neighbors. They Mm -hmm. And their pictures are still around from, was that, that, from that meeting. Was that on a Saturday? I imagine. The reason I, I, I moved in the was. Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and it seems to me that was right after. Mm -hmm. well, and did you get to go to it then? No, we, I, I don't know whether Carl went, but oh. I didn't go. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. And did, did you know well enough in advance that you were moving that you could come down to the tent meeting or not? Um, I doubt the, whether we did, um, but I had read in the paper, uh, probably Tribune in the city, was that uh, there was this new village for veterans being built in uh, the boondocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I took two little baby boys on uh, my shoulders, because I, I didn't drive at that time, uh, and um, I got on a seven cent street car and went down, I think it was to a bank somewhere, the Sale Bank or Harris Bank, some bank downtown, and I signed a lease. And when my husband came home from Midway, uh, he worked at uh, United Airlines, uh, I told him, we're moving. He said, where are we moving? <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, he said, that's out in the boondocks. <laughs> but uh, yes. And uh, it was the boondocks. Uh, oh. he, I don't think he was in on the tent meeting. I think mm -hmm. that was before we moved. OK. Um, and that tent meeting was something, uh, as we said, held, I believe, November 27, 1948, and yeah. the uh, and <laughs> ACB, American Community Builders, opened up the idea to the tenants and the prospective tenants, um, whether they wanted to incorporate as a village. Mm -hmm. While they could be a village, under Illinois law, you had to have just a certain amount of population in order to be able to have yes. a village government yes. versus mm -hmm. a town or a city government with mayors and, and aldermen and things. And he opened it up to them, and they decided, yes, they would like to incorporate, and they, in fact, incorporated in February of 1949. Um, mm -hmm. So um, what did your children think about the new home? They loved it. <laughs> of course, Roger didn't make much difference, <laughs> but uh, he, did, he didn't have a, uh, it was so chilly, I couldn't. Oh, with a new and he baby. was a preemie, and he was a preemie, and it was uh, pretty cool. And I remember Thanksgiving, we uh, had a set of dining room furniture with a d drop leaf table, and I was going to be very fancy, fancy, mm -hmm. and put out all the crystals, and a <laughs> leaf went down. Oh, <laughs> we also, we all, and my mother was there, and we also had caught something like 20 mice in the basement. 
Oh, oh I said, why do we have turkey? <laughs> 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 that trap was going uh, was going most of the day. And, uh, <laughs> no. uh, my mother's gone, Eddie's gone, but I still remember it. Did yeah. you have Schwann? Did you uh, we had a turkey, but we could have uh, <laughs> put little, little, little things on his feet. The kids played with the, the salamanders. Remember them uh, having salamander fights? Salamanders <laughs> were all in the, in the window wells. They oh, get them yeah. out. What about skunk? Have have having a skunk in the window well? Still oh, do. No. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that was horrible. Yeah. Or there, were, there was a, uh, not an attic, but a space up wh where an attic would be. And occasionally a skunk would get in yeah. there. And the entire unit would be absolutely, it would be oh, impossible. We were lucky. <laughs> Very yeah. fragrant. Yes, yes, they were. I, I guess we still have them. <laughs> not oh. in the house. Oh. oh, not in the house. Oh, that was horrible. Okay, well, it? how did you cope with all this mud and no <laughs> sidewalks and children, especially? I mean, it's, I know you had to wear boots and you got stuck in it, but what did we you do about married. the children? Oh, they play. They, they had fun. Yeah. My son naturally in his 50s now said that through his life that Park Forest was the greatest place to raise kids. You learn to get along. The, the court was full of kids, little kids. He was one of them. And you got along with them. We had a, the tight yard right in front of our kitchen and they all played in there, right? Mm -hmm. And there would be, oh, 20, 30 kiddos around the same age and the, this Sandbox, I'll never forget Somehow that. Somehow it worked out mm -hmm. even though... Uh, and the I'm women sure would have were. coffee clatches. Oh yeah, coffee uh -huh. clatches all <laughs> the time. The, the children were in the sandbox yeah. a lot and, and we were having coffee all around. <laughs> and we were having just as much fun visiting as the children were having playing together. <laughs> so did the moms have to... Did you stay outside with your coffee so that you could watch them? Yeah. When it was we, well, we did it. Our did sometimes yeah. stay well, but we, didn't, we didn't have to watch the children. That was the great thing about it. We they didn't have to watch the children. Because there really wasn't someplace dangerous to no, no, get to worry about. Off. Oh, it's not like now, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, Shirley, since you moved in in the winter time, what mm -hmm. physical problems did you encounter with um, snow and mud? Or uh, snow that I don't think of snow particularly. It's the mud because <laughs> you know when we moved in, uh, it was it was mud. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't remember being bothered by snow. Actually, snow would be clean. So that oh, and it would be fine. And the mud would be frozen. <laughs> if you had snow, it was frozen uh -huh, too much. Uh -huh. I have a picture of um, court F6 that Peggy Millar gave me. Yes. Of the entire court out pushing a big truck out of the court because yeah, it was a wet snow. Yes. Okay, and it was, it was And the truck got stuck and just yeah. everybody had to go out and okay. get the truck oh, out. Oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. interesting. But, um, well, everybody helped everybody else. Yeah, yeah. They pushed. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, pushed. yeah. Really kind of a pioneering oh. yeah. spirit. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, before moving out, my, my aunt had a friend who had a niece, a nephew who had moved here beforehand. And uh, I decided it would be nice to measure the windows. They had, they had mm -hmm. one of the two bedroom units before we moved in so that we could have curtains for the windows. And so we came to visit them, and uh, Charlotte Wolf, I don't know if you remember, yeah. Charlotte and Homer Wolf. Oh, yeah, they were in our court. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and um, we, she, we, she showed us through the place, and, and she said, and the basement floods, and it's so much fun. <laughs> and I thought, oh, my. As we left, I said to Henry, do you think we should cancel? Because the thought of having a basement full. And he said, no, Al, we're going ahead with it, you know. We, and so we did, but that was because she's what, one of these wonderful, bubbly people who, who really accepts life as mm -hmm. it is, you know. And um, so it was, um, there were such great people here, really, really. And we made some lasting friendships, you know. It was, um, mm -hmm. I'm still yeah. corresponding with the uh, next door neighbors, mm -hmm. Doris Ferguson in uh, Iowa, and of course Waterman's. Mm -hmm. And Baumberg's are in California. We were all the, in the original uh, Court E8. Mm -hmm. We try to, there's so many people that I'd like to keep in touch with, but I, you know, you've lost track of them, like mm -hmm. Saxes. I don't know. I've asked people about them. Oh, I think about so many of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that it, it really bonded as a lifelong yeah. oh, yes. type of friendship, yeah. having yeah. gone through this. Okay, and um, you say that you all had to go and shop in um, Chicago Chicago's Heights. Right. Now I've heard though that um, Park Forest Liquors, which was the first, first store, store, they were in by, by winter, weren't they? 
Or maybe, were they in maybe, early maybe, 49? Maybe, maybe it was the first, it was yeah. the first store. I know, I have it? the date. I yeah. don't yeah. want yeah. to remember, think we don't I remember that, that we went to meetings in their basement. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah they came to meetings in 49. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, I heard that they caught on fairly quickly to stock bread and, yes. Oh, yeah. and yes. a few yes. necessities yes. of life. But awesome. your milk did come to the door. And there was a bread truck, too. Okay. I know there was when we moved to Oswego. There was. I, I, I don't, I can't no, I don't I think can't so. Not, not when we first moved okay. in. It was just the, the milk. All right. And did you ever get the jewel tea? Did the jewel tea van no. come around no, out no. here? They Lambert. came out when Lambert. I lived in the country. So. Lambrex? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Did they come with uh, things like soaps frozen and things? Food. Food. Oh, frozen foods. Was, no. Wasn't that later, though? That was when they were in the court I had. They probably waited for pavement. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't, there wasn't pavement, but they, a lot of them just came to the entrance of the court. And you could and go out. They would walk you know, to your door. Oh, no, they mm -hmm. came to us. Oh, okay. <laughs> and who sold, um, somebody sold sandwiches sometimes, didn't they? Was that Oh, that was later. That was later when the shopping center started. There was oh, a delicatessen. Okay. Okay, well, oh, I thought somebody came around delicatessen. with a truck fellow oh, and oh, would that, have sandwiches sometimes. I too. don't know. That, that I don't remember. remember that. That. Okay. Now, which store did you go to Kroger's or was it A and P or were there a one of each? A and P in the, in Chicago Heights. Of course, was there that was down several. at the end of Twenty Sixth Street? No. Mm -hmm. no, no, it was uh, in the other part of town. <laughs> you had I to go further into town. To now, but <laughs> go in remember. Route Thirty uh -huh. and turn not by the right. hospital, but the next one, and take a right. And it was Halstead, maybe. Was it, it was in there downtown? Yeah, it was on Halstead. When was okay. that? It was and a and P. There was a national, too. Oh, and that was over that on was another part of town. Closer yeah. to um, mm -hmm. the First National Bank. And then there was a, a, there was a smaller grocery store someplace. I don't it's remember exactly all sorts where. Of stores. Yeah. Where, there was where? even a, a laundromat because I didn't have a washing machine. It was very important on Saturdays to go to the laundromat, too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Did a lot of people not have washing machines? We well, finally I, got them. <laughs> it, it took a while. <laughs> yeah, I, and I got a ringer washer. You did have a ringer. Oh, okay. yeah. That's right. Yeah, well, that's been a big question for stocking the house. Mm -hmm. would, would we get a ringer or not? So you bought a new ringer in for Oh, it was yeah. wonderful. And uh, okay. I remember pulling Gordon out of the mud, and he was literally <laughs> pouring it over his head. Oh. Um, a little play pail that he had. And uh, the diapers never did get white again. <laughs> 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 they were dirty gray. All oh, the yeah, rest always of the gray, days. always gray. <laughs> well, you hung them in the basement, I did. Yeah, know. right. We weren't allowed to hang uh -uh. laundry out. Still yeah, outdoors. it was against the law to yeah. hang your laundry outside, even with all these diapers mm -hmm. and all these muddy clothes to dry. So they just hung in the basement and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. forever and ever. So how long did they take they dried? to dry? <laughs> I don't, I don't forever and ever. Did yeah. very many people get dryers? We've got one. Well, no, but we had, a, we had a diaper service with, when, when our uh, Finally, daughter was yeah. born. Finally when our daughter was born, service. because, you know, Bill was out of diapers. He was, you know. Mm -hmm. Couldn't, couldn't. Three, he did not have well, diapers. I guess it was so Yeah, you were well, left behind. He, he, was, he was trained early. I don't know why. But it didn't I come called, right away. No, it didn't come right away. Mm -hmm. okay. And Father Coogan moved into one of the rentals because I can remember going down to see him before he he stayed in the rentals for some time, I don't know how long. Mm -hmm. But he used to come up and visit one of our neighbors, George Off, who was oh, a plasterer, remember? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, for, the, for the whole, uh, he and Mary lived in the court too. Okay, and um, did, um, now you didn't get, Jewel didn't come in, I think, until December. Actually, I can't remember. December of 49 or, or... It was pretty quickly. Or, it was in or January of 50 or it was first December one, wasn't 50. it inside the uh, center, what we call the center now? Mm -hmm. it, uh, mm -hmm. Of course, I worked for Morris B. Sachs, so I know the building exactly. Right. But that's where it was. Um, mm -hmm. And then there have been restaurants in there since, but mm -hmm. that was where the jewel was. And you, you went mm -hmm. out around the back to get your groceries, and they brought them out and put them in the car. Right. They yeah, had I a remember that. Remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that was nice. Mm -hmm. um, and well, I had to go on the wagon when they first died because I didn't <laughs> drive here either, and I'd take the wagon down to go grocery shopping when they Yeah, that's what I was two hits. Yeah. You needed so two you, wagons. <laughs> so you went and, and walked, even yeah. to Jewel, if you didn't have a car. Oh yeah. Or did you ride with friends? 
Oh, we the always, we always rode, than you rode, could fit rode with yeah. friends, but I, I don't remember. Um, I don't remember that particularly. And we when did youngsters come in? That, oh, that uh, clothing yep, store that for was kids. Like, that was uh, right there. I don't remember. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first. Oh, it must have been more than the first year. They sold out of mittens so oh. quickly that kids were wearing socks on their hands. <laughs> Was that a was that a particularly cold winter? Or I I don't or know. They, it just wasn't any place for all these people actually, to buy. Ga actually, Gary was too young to uh, in on that. But uh, then the next winter, people were wiser. They had more mittens. Kids lose them, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, then, where did your kids go to school? For the for the two earliest earliest moms. The first one. He must have. Did they have a kindergarten? I can't remember. I think so. Well, he must have gone. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't swear to it, no. So do you, do you think the first He was first four when we moved in. He was four, he was so four was years old, year November 10th. Something. So the next year, yes, I think he went to kindergarten. And then when the Catholic school opened, that hadn't opened yet, though, had it, no. Because Roger... No, it didn't open right away. So. Roger went to first grade and the opening of St. Irenaeus. So okay. that was four years later. Okay. Oh, he went to school in a... Did he down go? on 26th Street. Didn't they have a school down there? To the nursery school. The nursery, nursery school. school. Nursery school. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. That's Mrs. where he went. Mr. That's Waldman was the went. chief engineer, and mm -hmm. his wife yes. opened a nursery school That's in a prefab house. Where, yes, right. mm -hmm. where the oil yeah, change place yes. is now. Yes. See, it's coming yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I neglected him when <laughs> the preemie baby, but yes, he did. That's where he went. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that was right close to your house. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So, sure. mm -hmm. And then your children were too young to do. Well, they didn't. Uh, well, Sharon wasn't there, but uh, Gary was too young for school until what, 48. When did he go to school? Five years later. Okay, I think, I think he probably went to Blackhawk mm -hmm. Elementary. Uh, you, or they either, either went they to Sock, Sock, yeah, either Sock, went to Trail, Sock Trail, was, was I think before, Sock Trail first. Before uh, Blackhawk, yeah. You know. okay. But he had a school to go to. Okay, mm -hmm. and then what about your kids, Shirley? Well, uh, Bill went to the nursery school. They, all, they, In fact, they all went to nursery school, uh, to Mrs. Waldman's school. And then, uh, but Bill started, uh, kin kindergarten was in, in one of the units, one of the rental units, that was where the school, the first um, okay. 163. Okay, uh -huh. and Forest Boulevard, did he go to Forest Boulevard school? Uh, because there was more than, there, there was more than one of these. There was one uh, on Ash Street, I'm told. Was there one on Victory Boulevard or? or well, they played, they had their playground along Victory Boulevard. And so that one, the that, forest, the piece of forest faced okay. that. So oh, yes, uh, yes, that that was the one, that was his first school. Okay, so yes, that was Forest yes, Boulevard. Yes, that. Uh huh. All right, and then I'm also told there was one called Juniper School. Does anyone remember that? Another yes. set that, that was across that from Lake Juniper. Okay. Second grade or third grade or something. That was the oh, other okay. side of Western. You were oh. on. You were on the. Um, she was across. We were on the west yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. on the west yeah. side. They went uh -huh. to Juniper School, uh -huh. too. Uh -huh. Okay. School on Juniper. Uh -huh. Okay, well, sometime you have to point out to me if you can remember which units. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because our teacher, Eleanor Loeb Marar, taught at Juniper. Oh. And it, it was the first time I'd heard of the Juniper one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so they converted an eight, for Forest Boulevard at least, they converted an eight unit oh. into a school mm -hmm. and knocked out walls. Right. And put in, um, I believe they had maybe drinking fountains, things that they were required by law yeah. to have for that many children. They left the kitchens and the bathrooms intact. Um, and it, it's something I've been trying to find out about because we are trying to recreate that one schoolroom, mm. of course, up in the house museum temporarily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, did any of you have kids who then were um, taken by bus over to Chicago Heights, or were yours yeah. so the young? Next door neighbor, they, uh, Judy Ferguson. Mm -hmm. they, she went to school with one of the Klutznik girls, I believe, and was in the bus school. to mm -hmm. 
to the high school, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Terry, tell us about signing up for St. Irenaeus School. You well, I signed up previously before it opened, but I can remember the people. I went down for some reason or other, and they were all sitting around with their backs to the wall, mm -hmm. <laughs> waiting for it to open so they could register their kids. Okay. And uh, Roger and Ed. Ed was in fifth grade, I believe, when he saw so Roger would have been in fourth, first, 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 first. first. Okay. He was in first grade. All right. Now, Mr. Cunningham had talked about there being a line that he got home from work and his wife Florence was sent somebody home to say, you have to come <laughs> quick and take my place in line so I can come home and make dinner and that he stayed there all night yeah, in the oh line no. to be sure his kids were registered <laughs> for St. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt well, it. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's okay. yeah. so that's what I was wondering if you had yeah. been part of. Well, I'd seen them up, I guess I went by that day or something, but they, we had registered them earlier. Okay. And um, so what did the women of Park Forest do all day while the men were away? <laughs> Coffee clashed. <laughs> yeah. We had housework. Oh, yes, we worked. We were working a big house. Like well, it wasn't that really well, that big. big unit. Yeah, you yeah. know. And we did, I did get some help, household help from um, Chicago Heights had, had people who, who would come, you know, they'd take the bus. Mm -hmm. I did have a woman who came in and, and did the, the, the hard heavy work, stuff. heavy mm -hmm. stuff. Um, but, um, oh yeah, there was a lot to take care of. There, there was, I don't know, yeah, we had to cook and we, and we had children to take care of and, and uh, laundry, of course. Mm -hmm. um, we kept busy and we socialized. You socialized? Okay. Yeah. And what yeah. kind of things? I know that Terry was in an exercise class because yeah. she <laughs> was <laughs> immortalized for the Fortune series. Oh, that's right. Yeah, when he came Dan out. Dan Weiner. Yeah, yeah. Weiner. Weiner? <laughs> I, I forgot. Yeah. And, and he came and out one summer when we were gardening. And, and yeah, appears we internationally a... on postcards in her exercise class. So I, I know didn't that know that. <laughs> and, uh, so I know that there were exercise classes. Yeah. Did people do any other kind of classes? Do people teach tatting or knitting or bridge classes? Or bridge bridge classes. Bridge classes. And all that. They started I the club. The club started very soon. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And then I went down to Mantina. We'd have a we had a babysitting uh, co-op kind of mm -hmm. like, and I could go down. You know, I owe you. You owe me. <laughs> yeah. And somebody kept track, and I think I did for a while because I went down and did volunteer work with the Pink Ladies, which the. National Council of Jewish Women mm -hmm. started, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they someone started up the mm -hmm. women's club that started mm -hmm. very soon. Mm -hmm. too. Oh, yes, I belong to that. Yes, we're going to be 50 years old. Okay. Our women's club. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're celebrating with the village next year. Great. Yeah. Well, the park, park women's club. Yeah, the yeah. park for the park forest uh, National Council of Jewish Women was, I think, the first wim I first women's so. organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, Myra Levine, who lived in our court had an aunt who was on the national board, I believe. And so she came out and spoke to those of us who were, who were um, interested. And we um, formed the organization. And it was, it, it was wonderful because, you know, we did a lot of bonding that way. And we, we mm -hmm. met, met a lot of people from throughout the village. And I know they certainly did a lot of good social oh, yes, services yes. Well, and they, set up a yeah. lot of things that a lot of other people were involved right, with right. those. Right. Groups that you set up, handy camps and right. um, a youth camp that um, yes, um, and um, organized so for getting the bus shelters mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. a lot of things that happened no, no. in town. Um, were any of you reporters for the Park Forest Reporter? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The well, Adele, Adele that. Sachs. Adele Sachs was very. Yeah. She was the one who started it. Okay. With Pappy Schechter, mm -hmm. but she started the, it all. Said she came out and said, "We have to have to get news out," mm -hmm. and that was uh, well. I, there were our neighbors too, the four, and they were down at the end, and she started that. And <coughs> so you'd run around getting all the news, and uh, uh, so everybody knew everybody mm -hmm. else. Because so women were different. Women in the court were appointed as court reporters and would run around yeah. getting the news yeah. in their court. Yeah. 
and then turn it in yeah. and it would be yeah. put yeah. out and that yeah. turned into an actual and the word Daniel's mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. and the word Daniel is the first remember do it with Santa Claus oh well, yes well the yes. mud the first the first Christmas he went around he had the uh, mm -hmm. Santa Claus outfit oh right in the well, court well the mud yeah he, he visited everybody in the court he's gone now <laughs> okay and but we um, did a lot so card parties too and, oh yeah and organized card parties and you were talking about the babysitting co-op I was going to ask mm -hmm. that now there weren't very many teenagers there were some but in the beginning I know mm -hmm. the high neighbor mm -hmm. tips that came out from ACB um, listed some teenagers in Chicago mm -hmm. Heights and a few teenagers yeah. and then there was a teenage mm -hmm. club for the few but there was only a, a paragraph yeah. of names <laughs> for those teenagers. So what did you do about this babysitting business? Well, as I mentioned, I'll babysit for you and you <laughs> babysit for me. And we kept, and we kept the record of it. that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty common in the different courts mm -hmm. every uh, long time. They formed this group in, in our court, you know, and, and where you uh, you would sit for a certain number of hours and you yeah. get credit for it and then, you, then uh, the group owed you. One, the one time I remember sitting these people had had um, a baby and um, I was sitting there and they didn't get home until I was either 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning oh my goodness and that was the last time <laughs> <laughs> I did any babysitting we racked group. up a lot of credit <laughs> oh yeah, I right? did I did yeah but uh, not that much you know I mean oh. it was just you didn't get paid extra for uh, for, for uh, for those hours, you know, it was, it was, uh, what was it, five hours or something like that, okay. you know, which I used, but after that, I, did, I was not interested in doing it, you know. Okay, and I've heard that sometimes children, if you had neighbors that you really trusted and, and children who slept well, that you, some people would put their kids to bed and get them to sleep and leave the neighbors to listen oh, yeah. for them. Mm -hmm while you went to the show or something nearby, with the, <laughs> once the show was there, it was quite nearby. We did that also and Timmy Miniter, remember Timmy Miniter? He got up one night and thought, I don't know what his folks were thinking of, they were home. He got out of bed, came down, came out the door, came into our court and crawled into bed with the kids. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it was like a second home. <laughs> and then um, also that the police would, if you let the police know that you were going to be out. Mm that they would kind of yeah. keep an eye out. No, no, well, I don't no. think I went out too much anyway. Right. Yeah. I, think that, I think that was why you there did, were so many parties within yeah. the courts. We you had, we had parties in the courts. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. We did parties. Oh, we had and good parties. And then everybody could just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were in the tot yard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the parties were in the tot yard. We have pictures of that. Oh, yeah. Dan Weiner cut pictures of that. Oh, sure. It was a party time. It was a good time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, I thought of it as a way of life, you know, it was so different than living in the city, and of course we didn't ever really live in the city after I was married, but uh, recently I still meet friends from school, and I remember one of them said, well, it's a way of life, and I thought they didn't think of it that way, but I guess they did, they thought just part for us was just something different. Well, it, it was, was too. it was. We, we, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. It was very different. And, and you had to get used to the distance, of course, because even the south side of Chicago was 45 minutes away by car, mm -hmm. or otherwise you took the train and transferred to a streetcar and so forth, and it was really a mm -hmm. trip. It was a real trip, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what other ways can you think of, um, fairly briefly, that people helped each other out? Just whatever there was to do. In illness, and mm -hmm. if, uh, if you had a car, once I learned to drive, you had a car and the other husband was gone, I took uh, uh, <laughs> Dottie Main's kiddo to Ingalls because he uh. took too much bubble gum and swallowed it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's But I mean, yeah, it, 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 he was sick and she called, but, and uh, uh, my next door neighbor, Al, Bomberg, one I won't mention names, but there was a birthday party, and I know the lady's name, but I won't mention it, <laughs> gave all the little kiddos the little shovels, and they weren't plastic, no. they were metal. 
Uh oh. <laughs> And E.G. happened to, you know, how kids do in the tight yard, and he got the gash over the eye, and the blood was running, and my <laughs> husband was in the round and round, so Al Bomber, you know, St. James, they go. Mm -hmm. But everybody helped everybody else in, a, in, oh, a, yes, just, yes. in an emergency. Just like a family. Because there was no 911. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, it was a big family. Yeah, yeah, people mm -hmm. had left hometowns. Sure. Even if it just was Chicago, yeah. but Chicago yeah. was a long way away. You couldn't way call away. mom yeah. to come down and no. help you. So no. everybody just became everybody's yeah. extended right. family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We even uh, took in other people's uh, relatives because there wasn't motels and hotels. No. When relatives came from out of town, sometimes a neighbor was good to sure. share a, another bed for our family or something. Mm -hmm. It was right. great. Okay. And then just a little bit on um, the fact that the churches, except for St. St. Anne's, the Catholic Church had a had a foot in the door here because they'd had the little church, right? But um, nothing else had any church mm -hmm. even started. And of course, St. Anne's was a very small building, mm -hmm. and you had to go into a building program to get St. Anne's. Oh yes. Oh yes. So what kind of um, involvements did you have to do to get Chicago Sunday Heights school? Did you go to Chicago Heights? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then eventually started uh, the Jewish Sunday School through the Board of Jewish Education? Board of Jewish Education started, yes, right. yes. And then the temple was built. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, but it was, it was a community. And, and um, of course, and Chicago, the Chicago Heights people were wonderful. They really were very helpful, you know, and, and we really, uh, I felt very guilty because we, when our shopping center was built, we took all the business away from them and they, they really lost their tax base pretty much, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, now they've made it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Madison's made it up. <laughs> oh, Madison has really, and we, we created Madison without us. Madison would, would still be a little a small yeah. town if we weren't here, mm -hmm. you know. And that's but the way they wanted it. Yes. Well, the original <laughs> residents, the original Maybe, residents, maybe, sure. but. Uh, the they, original. They yeah, didn't yeah. Want it to oh, no, 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 they weren't very happy with us, yeah. you know. They, Right. In my court, uh, Pastor uh, Chaplain Leinberger came to my door and he mm -hmm. said, uh, what, what is your faith or religion? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, my husband's Lutheran and I'm Baptist. And he says, oh, you're in luck. There's a new um, mission, Lutheran Church, being organized. And it, it was the first church in Park Forest. It was built on Western Avenue near Trinity, Trinity, uh, Trinity Lutheran. Trinity Lutheran. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And... Um, uh, so I think there was uh, five or six families from our court that joined oh, the, in, in right. that early mm -hmm. mission stage. Mm -hmm. And I uh, remember uh, we shared our basement with their temple people. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes, also, we, st we yeah. started, well, no, and, and we had we had holiday services oh, at, yes. at Trinity Lutheran before, uh -huh. our, yeah. before our building was... was uh, mm -hmm. And then um, no. later on, uh, my neighbor's husband was uh, with the Kiwanis, and she says they need somewhere to go uh, to break bread every Tuesday. She says, I heard you were in food service. Can you manage that for them? So I took it on, and we served Kiwanians for a couple of years in our basement, too, every Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. But the women got kind of tired of baking pies and things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you did, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of any building that got up became a meeting place. Yeah, you're yeah. right, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, like so, like, the, the nursery and the nursery the school was the mm -hmm. meeting place until there was anything mm -hmm. else, with everyone having these important meetings. The village, the, village, uh, the, the original night. village board would meet at the, mm -hmm. at, the, uh, at the nursery school. Sitting on the nursery chairs. And I have I have pictures of well, you that. You do. Yeah. Well, like people to have told me about sitting on those nursery yeah, chairs, and, and making important decisions until the small hours of the morning, and then and then getting up early enough to to get the train into the city. Yeah, that was. I don't know how they did that. Well, I don't know how we did it. <laughs> those of us who who went there stayed home with with the children. Yeah, yeah it, and. It, Park Forest wouldn't be what it was if the women hadn't been willing to well, to put up with that, well, too. That's we really didn't have a choice, did we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, one girl who grew up here told me that the children all felt like they were golden children. The, mm -hmm. They were the center of the universe, mm -hmm. just the center of, of everything that went on, that everything that could be done for them was done for them. That it was just Could a be, just the right. glory yeah. days, yeah. Uh, the yes. best place in the world to yes. have grown up. And Could what be, do you yeah, have as a reaction? Right. 
Yeah, I agree with you. I never thought of it that way, but my son did. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he'd been in di many different places, but he said for the children it was... Uh, I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Edith is with the formation of the uh, Faith United Protestant Church when they got I, going. I don't remember the date. They built the uh, Sunday School building, Christian Education building, right. and it was used so much. Every night lights were on because everybody was using it for meetings, mm -hmm. and uh, that went on for years. Mm -hmm. In fact, they still have they had the first meetings. School. With First yeah, high school there. And first high, first school. high school was held there in Faith in the education mm -hmm. building. That's right. And so you were, are you a charter member then? Of well, I'm not a charter member, uh, but, but I, I was attending. Very there. early. <laughs> very early mm -hmm. member and setting up Sunday schools and mm -hmm. all these things, which are a lot of work. Okay, well, uh, thank you for being here today to share your stories. I think it's been well, a real thank special thank you for having time. us. <laughs> was there anything else anybody wanted to add? No, we, we think fine. we're so fortunate to have you here, really. <laughs> well, the, uh, the job you're doing is, is tremendous, and, and uh, we really appreciate it. Mm. And it's good, it'll be good for our children to have this in information available. You know? mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah. I, hope they'll, I hope they'll listen. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, if you want to know more about the early days, the Park Forest Public Library's local history collection is full of information and photographs. More stories are available in the oral history collection. And we hope you'll come check some transcripts or videos out to learn more or just come and leave through the photographs and pictures and see what these ladies have been talking about here because we have lots of photographs of what they've been talking about.